we live? No. Hello. Hello. Now we're live. Welcome to a live episode of Tick Tick Boom. Boom. We've decided to take this one on the road and test it out because we have immediate interaction with you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, so Tick Tick Boom, for those that don't know, is it's when we both geek out about our favourite topics: mine, movies, and mine. Video games. I'm Alicia Malone from Malone's Movie Minute.com. I bring the tick tick. Oh, my name is Maud Garrett, and I created Geek Bomb <laughs> to have my nerdy fix. Yeah, yeah, I'll check out the shows. <laughs> uh, I, and I bring the boom to this one. So uh, let's get some boom room here happening. What is the topic for today? It is best buddies, sidekicks, partners, BFFs in video games and movies. That's yep. my topic. And we chose this because we're best friends. We're best friends. We're best friends. Oh, my God. Um, this one, thank you so much. Shout out to at 27 Greeny, Michael Greenway. Hey, buddy. Thanks so much for that one. A really good suggestion. So because we're going to do this live, we want to hear your thoughts all the way through it. All my gamers, what's up? All the movie lovers over there. Cheers. Bring, pour yourself a drink. Yeah. Come join us. Uh, join the dark side. Check out. Yes. Oh, there you go. Okay, so should we start with some shout-outs? I think so. So these ones didn't quite make our top three lists, but they are still very much um, a part and fall into place for this one, I think. Yeah. Well, well said and constructed. <laughs> Who would you say is a shout-out for you? Uh, for me, Banjo-Kazooie. I have so, no idea what Oh, sweetheart. Um, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, originally out, it was a Rare game. All my Nintendo peeps like, yes, Rare's awesome until Microsoft bought them. They were uh, responsible for such games like Perfect Dark and Banjo... Uh, Donkey... No, okay. Donkey Kong? There you go. Rare. That's no cool. one. Okay. Perfect Dark was a great game. Yeah. Uh, but the partnership there, Banjo-Kazooie, you know the bear that has the backpack? And then the bird that comes oh, yeah, out. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's Banjo-Kazooie. Gotcha. So the story is mainly about Banjo walking around on a platform kind of game. And he's really, really nice. He's got his shit together. And it's Kazooie that has the, you know, kazoo as an oh, instrument. Yeah. Um, she's a little bit mouthy. She's a bit cheeky. She helps him along. And those two together, you know, are great. I actually never played that on the Nintendo 64, though. Oh, ah, but you like the idea of it. I thought, well, this is the thing. <laughs> this is why it's not in my top list. Right, gotcha. But they are a, sig a significant... Buddy duo, along with Ratchet and Clank. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which I is, them. There you go. Yeah. So I just touched your boot. Uh, so basically, uh, Banjo <laughs> Kazooie is the Nintendo 64 and Nintendo version, and Ratchet and Clank were pretty much like the Sony version. Yeah. So that's like with the robot, and I, I didn't have a PlayStation growing up. Gotcha. So I am more familiar with Banjo Kazooie, but Ratchet and Clank were, you know, it's like I said, same buddy buddy thing. One carries the other one. Yeah. They both have it, unique personalities. So that's one of mine. So okay, one of mine. of mine is Andy and Red from Shawshank Redemption. I haven't seen it. Oh my god, you have to. I love these two. Red was played by Morgan Freeman and Andy played by Tim Robbins. They start out as kind of a really odd couple. They're not the type of people <laughs> that you would think would be friends inside prison, but uh, Andy quickly wins over Red with his intelligence, and then they become best, best friends. friends. They hang out in prison, and then, spoiler alert, I haven't seen it. on a beach in Mexico. They what? When they escape. Shh, don't tell Maud. I just heard you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> do you have another shout-out, or do you want to go to number three? No, let's do more shout-outs. Okay. Uh, there are so many. I mean, I thought you might say, for your movie one, Han and Chewie. No. Why not? They're like the best duo. They are best friends. They save the galaxy. Okay. Uh, okay. Confession time. Don't, don't, um, don't you dare. I can't take this. My heart can't take it. I made Maud cry this morning because I dared to suggest that maybe Chewie should be quiet sometimes. Does he have to talk so much? I get that he's a cute character. That's how he communicates. Sweet, but it's rah, 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 all the time. Be quiet, Chewie. Is he, like, is he talking? No, it's too much. <laughs> Oh, it's too much. Those movies. I like Star Wars. I love the adventure. I love the characters. I love the romance. Han Solo is fantastic character and so sexy and full of personality. But it's so loud. Okay. That's like Star Wars in five seconds for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's like George Lucas embrace silence. It can be powerful. <laughs> You need to erase the dark side. to the dark side. Well, another shout out for me, movie wise, is Jules and Vincent from Pop Fiction. Ah, I have seen this one. Yeah, yeah. 
Dr. Samuel L. Jackson. They work together. They kill people together on purpose oh, and yeah. accident. <laughs> yes. But I love the, uh, the dialogue between the two. I mean, just watching that whole scene when they're explaining the differences between Europe and America. <laughs> Royale with cheese and Le Big Mac. It's brilliant. I love their dialogue. It's so much fun and just classic Tarantino. Another of yours? Well, I mean, I keep bringing it back to Pokemon somehow, but I Ash Ketchum and Pikachu is more in the anime series. I thought they were really great together. Yeah. You know, he does everything for them. The buddies, he fights. Well, when you really break down the politics of Pokemon, it's all pretty effed up. Right. Um, oh, gosh, so many. So yeah. many. So many. So many. Games. Okay, well, let's get into our top three then. Mm. So I've divided my top three into an AI buddy, mm -hmm. a... Um, Great player two and one that you both play. There you oh, go. Gotcha. Have you divided? Have you done any? Just my favorite okay. friends. <laughs> you <laughs> wish your friends? I wish, yeah. Uh, friendships that I like. Okay. I All will right. say. So you kick it off. Number three for it you. It is my AI buddy that I think does a really great game in the game, uh, has a really great role in the game. Maybe it's because. I've just finished it, but for Bioshock, in oh. Booker and Elizabeth. You were in a ball after that. I can't. Remember when I, I finished can't it? Play. I can't even describe what just happened. I was like, tell me. But what's unique about this buddy partnership kind of thing is that you only play as Booker. Um, and Elizabeth is like, follow me. And you're like, okay. So she guides you around the entire game. Mm -hmm. But when you're playing and you're like, oh, I'm low on ammo, she's like, I found some ammo. You want it? And you're like, yes. Thanks, buddy. Awesome. And then you're like, I'm low on health. Here, take this. Health. That's awesome. Great. Here, you want some cash? Boing, flips a coin at you. And right. you're like, you can stay, Elizabeth. You are awesome. This yeah. is fantastic. So uh, and you, you, when you're playing a game, you're like, oh, AI, if they, they die, I'm in so much trouble. She hides. Ah. So every time it's like, get over here, and you're like playing. You're like, oh gosh, I'm in a battle. She's like, and crouches down and just stays away from it at all. So you never have to worry about it. Good, good friend. Good buddy system in a video game. That is a good friend. Well, my number three, DC Boiling has got it, right? I was oh, is that yours? Say, yeah, I was going to say Sean and Ed from Sean of the Dead. Totally. And pretty much any film that involves Simon Pegg and Nick, Nick Frost. Frost. Those two together. together. We're like the female version of them. Yeah, I'm having really thought about this. <laughs> Really thought of this through. But I like how in all their films they change roles. So in yeah. A Shaun of the Dead, Ed, played by Nick Frost, is the more frustrating one. They're yes. both slackers, but Ed, it's like, come on, get it together. Yeah. But in the end... Maybe we should have beer. They've got beer. Yeah, oh, I think I'm it's Ed. frustrating. But at the end, he really comes through for his friend. Whereas then you go to Hot Fuzz. <gasps> Oh, yeah. Hot fuzz, and it's opposite. I know. Simon Pegg's character, you're like, oh, And then again sure. with uh, uh, The World's End, Simon Pegg is the annoying character, mm -hmm. and Nick Frost is like, come on, get it together, be a grown-up, and he's a grown-up. So those two in anything, but particularly Shaun of the Dead. I love it. I actually put yours in order for those three. What's your favourite to least favourite? And I want everyone else to do that too. For, uh, out of the Simon... Out of Shaun of the Dead, yep. Hot Fuzz... World's End. Just in general, the films? Yeah, so top best ones. Shaun of the Dead, World's End, Hot Fuzz. Is that you? No. Oh, Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz, yeah. Shaun of the Dead, World's End. Shaun of the Dead because it, it introduced me to those characters and to Edgar Wright, who I think is such a brilliant filmmaker. The World's End wrapped things up so perfectly and it, it really brought in all elements of the Cornetto trilogy mm -hmm. and then took it to a great end. And Hot Fuzz was a lot of fun too, a great buddy cop comedy and yes. some great visual moments I there that. too. I I got really They're scared. All fantastic. I got scared in Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. Like I was panicky scared. Like yeah. it was a horror film to I me. I remember we went and saw the Cornetto trilogy last year and you were like, yes. <laughs> yeah, I get really anxious. It's all right now, I guess, because I've seen it a few times. All right, <laughs> great number three. Uh, What's your number two? You've mentioned it before really briefly. Yeah. So my number two is you get to play as both of them. So this buddy, buddy, second player actually ends up saving you a lot of lives. Okay. So you get more out of the game. I'm intrigued. Uh, can I give you a hint? Yeah. It's on like Donkey Kong. Dun, dun, oh, dun, 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 I even dun, played dun, it back dun, in the day. Absolutely. I was obsessed with this on Game Boy Color. But we've seen so many games with Donkey and Diddy together. So, and it was so successful that not only was Donkey 
doing his own thing in Mario Kart as a heavyweight. Diddy got his own racing game on the Nintendo 64. Right. Did you never play that one? No. Diddy Kong Racing. No. Well, I nailed that. But have you seen The King of Kong? Great documentary about yes, the guy that plays yes. Donkey Kong. The original, the, no, it wasn't even Donkey Kong then. It was just Kong. Kong, that's and, right. And um, Mario wasn't Mario. He was Jumpman. That's right. Yeah. Great doc there. Yeah, yeah. So the original, what we all saw, and that was like the do 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 climb the ladder, go across again, and there's barrels throwing down. Anyway, Diddy is his nephew. Oh. Okay. So they're an uncle-nephew duo. Interesting. You yeah. don't actually see that dynamic. You don't at all. But what's great with this one is that when you're playing is um, – they all they both have their own unique kind of things that they can do. Mm -hmm. um, so if you need to get under some small space, you move into Diddy Kong. And then when you need strength, boom, 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 you move into Donkey Kong. Yep. But if you run out of lives, you can only play the second one. So technically you get a lot more out of a game, and that's what I liked about it. Nice. Yeah, game Boy Color. Yeah, well, Shane over here, let me select this, said that his one of his favourite BFF duos is Doc, Doc and, and Marty. Of course, course, Back to the Future, yes. which is Great, great movie, but that's not my number two. My number oh, two. Oh, girls coming in though. We will read them out. Yeah, my number two is. I have to go with Thelma and Louise. Oh, great. From Thelma and Louise. Thelma was the sweet and sensitive one. Oh, Louise, oh, Louise. was the, oh. the go-getter. Yeah, she's just strong. She, I like she's together. Good. Perfect team, especially oh, yeah. for some females on the run. They were friends till the end. Be very bitter. Yeah, very. <laughs> And <gasps> yeah, I'm guessing you would be Gina, Gina. Davis' yeah. character and I'm Susan Stranded. She yeah. gets shit done. Yeah, she does. Mm -hmm. And and Thelma needs Louise. And Louise needs Thelma. They fit together perfectly. Yeah, nice. Like two halves of the one whole. Hold on. You get Brad Pitt. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I've got some here on Twitter, though. Okay. Um, no, I don't. I have people saying that they're watching in. Oh, that's great. Thanks go. for watching. That's fantastic. Will you tell me your number one and I will see if anyone has tweeted me. If not, then tweet now at Alicia Or Malone. forever hold your peace. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking on People saying, what? Too late? Mm. Nah. Nah. Guys, interact. It's right there. There's a comment box. All you have to do is write in it and we'll read out what your favourite best buddy duo is. And but Sebastian so Lacey says, as soon as I saw best buddies, I thought Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Great pick. Okay, what's your number one? This? What, Zelda? No. It, it could have been, say Zelda it could have been Link and Epona, you know? <laughs> it could have been Link and Epona because those two, that's a shout out. There you go. Yeah. Oh. You have to get Zelda in every single episode. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you rescue Epona from a really brutal. It works for any scenario because it is the best game ever. Have learnt. Trained I've you never well. Played now, it, but I don't I've trained you well. My number one game is the reason why I sort of became a gamer and the fact that I was included for the very first time. What's that? So everyone who is a younger sibling has this as a number one. Okay. Not Mario me. and Luigi. Oh, of course. Because everyone's Mario and then the second controller came out and it's like, you get you to get, play. And I was yeah. like, I am Luigi. I did do that with my friends, I admit. and But I was the one just running into walls. Every, honestly, when it was just Mario and it's like, you have a two-player option. I don't have to, I can be in it. And I think these two have really stood the test of time. Sure, Mario's got all of his games, Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy 2, all of like his own franchises, but in Super Mario World and in like Super, the Super Mario's, anything great? I, yeah, I'm getting some stuff in, hey. but keep going and then I'll... Um, yeah, I mean, they're brothers. It is the Mario show, but Luigi will still save him and he'll step up to have his own game if you like Hunter's Ghosts anyone in a like... haunted house. Does anyone prefer Luigi to Mario or is he always second fiddle? I'm sure. I mean, maybe. When you when you put it down, Mario does get all the attention. Luigi's taller and skinnier. <laughs> yeah. So that could be you. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, he's like, well, you know, you'll get all the games, but check me out. I am part of one of the brothers. <laughs> so Glenn Ingram says Milo and Otis. Oh, nice. Famous one. Cat. Some animal buddies there. Mm -hmm. Manuel Delacruz says Groot and Rocket. Oh, of course. They are good are friends. Amazing. And actually, that's why I'm wearing the T-shirt, not just because there's a story in my sweat marks. No, <laughs> I thought about it, and it is about friends, so it works perfectly. The whole movie was about friends. And Razvan Buros, hope I said that correctly, said Samwise and Frodo Baggins. <gasps> oh, that's a really good one. Yeah, they are BFF's great sidekicks. They went through everything together. Sam didn't even have to do it. 
Yeah. That burden was huge that Frodo had to go through. Yeah. God. That is a good friend. I think that's that should That's not my number one, but it could be, but it's not. My number one is probably maybe you haven't seen, but it is okay. <laughs> Lorelai and Dorothy from Gentlemen Fur Blondes. What the hell are you talking it's about? It's a classic movie. Lorelai is played by Marilyn Monroe yep. and Dorothy is played by Jane Russell. I chose this one because this was one of the first female BFF partnerships that I saw oh. on the screen because I grew up watching classic movies. Yes, and so this was hugely influential to me. Uh, I love these two. Again, they're opposites. So Lorelai, played by Marilyn, is not so smart, but she's very sexy. Really? Marilyn Monroe playing a dit? I know, a very sexy dit. Oh. But she comes up with these great schemes because these two are, are just two little girls from Little Rock. Da, 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 da. I used to know You're all the dance still moves. pretending that I've seen the movie, but I, I haven't. Hopefully some people <laughs> out there have seen it, but they're two struggling singers, so they need money. So Lorelai comes up with these great schemes mostly involving millionaires and entrapping them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Dorothy is smart, she's sassy, and she's the one that cleans up all the mess behind. But together uh -huh. they work really well, and it was really great representation of a nice female friendship on screen. They are not competitive with each other. Yeah, they've got each other's backs. they got each other's backs, even That's though good. they get frustrated by each other from time to time, which we all do with our friends. I just burped. See? Again. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> this is why we love you, Maud. Aww. Let's read out some more. If you've got them, hit them through. Gamers, get at me. Comment below with get well, some all these Shane so says Sonic and Tails. A great one. That's obviously a Sega, Sega, whoever you're from, but we say it different ways. Sean Farley says Bill and Ted. And the excellent Whoa. adventure. Whoa. Whoa. Love and that. And all their bogus adventure. They had two. Which yeah. one was the one where they fought death? I don't know. But they all mold into one for me because they were all facing all. death. At uh, the stage. Super J seventy five says Captain Kirk and Mr Spock. Oh yeah, they yeah, are great yeah. friends, even though Spock doesn't have that many emotions. I still think that Han and Chewie are better than those two. What about sticking back onto? Yeah, Han and Chewbacca says Manuel. Manuel, Manuel onto something. Uh, what about C three PO and R two? Yeah, yeah, they're always together. Is that making us to do? <laughs> You're like. Yeah, sure. Making a lot of sound effects. Um, because of the last two years in games, I have to bring up Joel and Ellie uh, for The Last of Us because they, they're they a good duo, you know. They made that game. Tom Byrne says, on the lines of Lord of the Rings, Gimli and Legolas. Yeah. They are friends. They had a competitive nature, though. Yeah. Don't count that one. He's not dead. And we just <laughs> spoke to on Profiles with Malone and Mats. We spoke to Gimli because he was in Raiders of the Lost Ark. And we were talking about Harrison too. Ford. So that was awesome. I'm still upset about your Chewy comment. Uh, Joshua Willingham said, yay, because we're talking about your topic. Yes. Mike Messina on Twitter, Mike the Film Guy, said, my most recent duo is Schmidt and Jenko. I can't remember where they're from. Schmidt. Schmidt. And Jenko. Oh, from 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street. Of course. Yeah, yeah they, they are a great duo. Uh, Nick Collett confirming that um, Joel and Ellie need to be mentioned, so you're welcome. I got in ahead of you there before I read it. Raz Van Buros again says on Twitter, he says, Tyler Dead and Edward Norton in Fight Club, nothing like imaginary friends. Yeah. <laughs> Multiple personalities. That works. Best friend is yourself. What about us? Oh, what about us? What about Maud, Garrett, and Alicia Malone? Best buds coming in at number one. Best buds for Evs. We're, we're, we're taking both of these. So there's nothing that I can say that you haven't already. I know. Rocky and Paulie? Sounds like a Rocky movie that I've not seen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. All right, well, I think that does it for Tick, Tick, Boom. If you have any suggestions on future topics you'd like us to talk about, comment below. Also tell us if you like this live format. We were trying it out. We thought it was perfect because we're talking drink. about friends and so we thought we would just keep it live and loose and let <laughs> give you some kind of insight into what our friendship is What about is Boba like. Fett and Django Fett? Yeah. <coughs> Bloody Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> You will turn to the dog. Make sure you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channels and give them a thumbs up. So, Morty, I say we've covered off movies. Tick. We've covered off games. Tick. So that leaves. Boom! Boom! We're done.